hey you guys um i just got done doing a video interview with a company hopefully i'll get the job sooner than later um but you guys look at my eyebrows i think this is the best i've ever done my eyebrows i think they look good <laughs> um i do however need to get me a some makeup that's gonna make my pores smaller because my pores are huge um i got i'm actually got just got done with the sample that i had from ultra beauty i got a sample of the mac from ultra beauty this thing is done okay done um, that got done today, but I need to find something else. I didn't even have enough to blend it out. As you can see, it's not blended, but, um, yeah. So, um, update on the scar. It's been a while, but as you can see, it healed pretty good. Um, the reason why it's probably like a little wider than it probably would be is because the I was like maybe three weeks into healing and when you do that they tell you not to lift anything heavy but I had to move and so I moved and I was carrying stuff and I think it kind of opened up just a little bit as when I was looking at it it seemed like it opened up a little bit but other than that it's pretty flat it's flat y'all don't mind my bedroom it's a mess I'm gonna clean up um, I just woke up through stuff around um, because I was gonna do this interview um because I was doing this interview so I basically just threw everything around um opened up my closet just looking for stuff that I could basically um put on for this interview but yes uh, look at the eyebrows yes uh, so yeah so now what I'm about to go do I think that I'm gonna make something to eat I ain't sure yet, but um, we shall see. Hmm. My little brother is asleep. They're visiting me right now, my family, and my little brother is asleep. So, my mom just told me that she's going to go run, do a couple of errands, and so I'm going to wait for her to get home, to get back here. Um, but outside is horrible, you guys. Let me open the porch so you can see what outside looks like. Outside looking crazy. Oh, it's awesome. oh, winter is here. But anywho, um, last time I spoke to you guys, I was going through something with my husband. We're still going through some things. And I'm, I, I'm actually learning about myself in the process of going through this with him. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. Me and my husband, we've been together for, well, I've known him for 20 years. We've been married for 12 of the 20 years. Um, out of the 12 years of us being married, he spent eight of that with somebody else. Yeah, I know, crazy, but yep that was our life um now we're back together we're trying to establish a relationship a life together um a family together i know that a lot of people is going to have a lot of things that they will say about you know getting back together with a man that was cheating but um you know he is my husband and um we made a promise from better through better or worse and we've been through the worst and i'm just hoping that now we're at the point where we're gonna go and give each other the better of ourselves and so it's a trial period um to see if it's something if it's something that's gonna work for us um doing it this way um we're getting to know each other again because of course 
Um, when we met, I was 20. He was 25. He's 44, and I'm going to be 40 in February. So we've been together for a long time. We've been through ups and downs with each other. You know, we've been learning each other when we are together. So right now we're together. And um, so I'm giving him a... This is the last chance, to be honest. I know that he'll be upset if he hear me saying that it's the last chance. But, you know, it is because life goes on and I'm getting too old to be running back and forth in no mess with no 45-year-old man, okay? Because if I'm going to start over, I'm going to be a Kruger. You hear me? But anyways, <laughs> um, so... Today, I'm going to come back. I believe, I'm not sure, but I will make a video. I'm going to be cooking today. Today, I might be cooking some curry. I'm not sure. It depends on if I have everything that I need to make the curry. If I don't have everything that I need to make the curry, I'll be making brown stew chicken. Let me check in the cupboard now because I want to make sure I have my beans because I'll be making beans too because I know I didn't use both of the... um cans of beans but maybe I did because I don't see them here so I think I'm just gonna make some yellow rice yeah I'm gonna make some yellow rice and I'm gonna mix it with some sweet peas and some corn um and I'm gonna make some brown stew chicken oh it's gonna be good and I'm gonna film it because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel. But I know that you definitely have to post every day. So I'm trying to post every day because it is November. And I know that um, it's a vlogmas month. Am I saying that right? Let me know if I'm saying it right. So I'm going to try to post more. I'm going to try to have more content. I'm going to try to introduce you guys to where I live, the town that I live in, because I don't really hear anybody talk much about it. It is a small town. It's more, I feel like it's mostly for um, families raising their children and people retiring, but um, somebody else might have a different opinion than that. Today, I think that I might go and get my nails done. They are a wreck. My hands are a wreck. She's looking like a little old lady's fingers, but I'm going to get those done. I'm going to get my feet done, which I'm not going to show you because it's a wreck there too. But I think I'm going to go get those things done for myself today because I haven't done it in a long time. The previous job that I had, I couldn't wear makeup and I couldn't wear nails, lip gloss. So I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm about to go and do that later on today. But for right now, um, it's not quite morning. It's more like a brunch hour. It's like 11.23. But I'm going to make me some breakfast. What I'm going to have for breakfast, I'm going to have some spinach, some kale, and some turkey, bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is all that I'm wearing right now. Um, I'm still on my weight loss journey because I'm tapped. But, um... Well, I, 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 I let y'all, we'll talk about it at some other time because I lost 40 pounds last year and I almost gained all 40 of them back, but I haven't, um, I need to lose at least 20 pounds to be back to where I was. Yeah, 20 pounds. To be back to where I was, but I did lose for it. Uh, I kept off twenty of the forty that I, I um, lost, but now I have to go back and lose this other twenty pounds, which is gonna be good for me because having this weight has been really hard on my body and my health. You know, like I was pre-diabetic at one point. These little spots right here. These come up on people that their pancreas is working too hard. Is what my dermatologist told me. My pancreas is working too hard because I'm fat <laughs> and I'm pre-diabetic. And whenever I lose weight, that goes away. Um, I'm no longer pre-diabetic. You know what I'm saying? I have high blood pressure. I want to get rid of that because I'm not trying to get heart disease or anything like that. But I do take my medicine every day. It makes me go to the bathroom a lot. Like urinate. Um, not number two. But um, that's something that I'm working on. And... It's a day-to-day -day journey, and I decided that I was going to actually film it 
um, and t have you guys go along with me on my journey of getting healthy. So if this is something that you're interested, if this is something that you're going through yourself in, within your life, you know, just let me know. It's just like, um, there's a lot that I want to put out there I want to talk about, but um, I don't want to bore anybody talk about stuff that they don't care about. Um, I know that my mom was just diagnosed with breast cancer. So of course I have to go and get mine checked to make sure that I'm okay and I'm not carrying that gene or whatever. And if I am, the most likely thing is gonna be to just chop these things off, you know. But um, I'm trying to get healthy, I'm trying to have a healthier lifestyle so that I can have a longer life, you know. Um, my mom is doing okay right now, but it's still a day-to-day -day thing. This is new to us. Nobody else in our family have ever been, that I know of, that has ever been diagnosed with cancer. And so this is the first bout of it. And um, we're, we're all still learning. We're all still emotional about the situation and everything like that. But we're learning. But anyways, I will be back later with another video, hopefully, or tomorrow. But I want you guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel and you guys have a wonderful and a great day